love going out in the garden and harvesting fresh corn to enjoy inside. There's nothing like a, a just freshly picked, just shucked ear of corn, but there's nothing worse than shucking the corn and finding little corn earworms in there nibbling away. It just uh, makes it a lot less appetizing when you find worms there in the tip. So the critical time to prevent corn earworms from getting into your corn is right as the silks are really starting to form and when the tassels are dropping a lot of pollen. So watch the tassels. When you see a lot of bees in there, you know pollen's dropping out of the corn. So for the, the, the last four or five days I've come out here and there's just been bees like crazy in the in the tassels of the corn so you know that's when the pollen's really dropping out of the corn and that's the critical time to, to start treating the silks we're not going to treat up here where the where the, the the bees are at we definitely don't want to bother the bees but there's some insecticides that we can use that are safe and won't bother the bees at all and then we've got some other ones that we've got to be a little bit more more careful with but what we want to treat is we want to treat the silks on the corn so if you can see back in here the corn's really starting to develop and uh, the silks what will happen is if there's little moths that will come in and they'll actually land on the silks they'll lay their eggs right on the silks and those eggs will hatch out and then the, the larva the little corn earworms will crawl down into the corn following the silks down into the interior of the corn and then they'll start having a heyday they'll just enjoy eating that sweet corn just as much as we like to eat the sweet corn so there's a couple things we can do to prevent that from happening one, you can spray it with an insecticide, like a broad spectrum insecticide here from Fertilome. The broad spectrum is a, a very safe, very effective insecticide you can use on almost all of your vegetables. Safe to use on all kinds of ornamentals as well too. And it comes in a ready to use and also in a concentrate. Very, very easy to do. You just turn the trigger sprayer, just set that to, to spray. And you just spray the tops of the silks. So we've got some silks right here. Just spray the tops of those. If you don't have too much corn, this is a good way to do it. If you've got a pretty good sized patch of corn like I have, I've got uh, four 75 foot rows. It's gonna take me a long time with a trigger sprayer to get in there and spray those. And so I would probably suggest you switch to a, a larger sprayer, like a pump sprayer like this and uh, we can use a couple different types of insecticides in a concentrate form in a tank sprayer like this. One of my personal favorites is called spinosad and the spinosad is an all-natural insecticide. It's a bacteria in fact and it only kills caterpillars and the larval stages of a lot of insects and this is the one product I was talking about won't bother your bees. So this is this is an insecticide you can control a lot of different insects that are doing damage in your vegetable garden whether it's on your tomatoes for tomato hornworms or cabbage loopers in your cabbage or Mexican bean beetles on your beans or corn earworms in your corn you can use this you don't have to worry about damaging or affecting beneficial insects like lady beetles or uh, bees or praying mantids because it only kills the larval stages of the insects and only kill the babies so it kills the worms and the caterpillars but it won't affect the adults so we can mix this up use it in our tank sprayer and go ahead and just spray all those silks just like I did with the trigger sprayer but it's a lot easier to do a big patch of corn when uh, when you've got a tank sprayer instead of using a trigger sprayer. The other option you've got, again if you don't have too many, is to use a dust. And the dust is very effective because uh, it's, it's easy to use. You don't have to worry about mixing it up with water. And uh, the new applicators they've got has a little puffer applicator. So when uh, you take the top off, you could actually, if you can see, you can actually squeeze it and it will puff the dust out. If you can see that dust coming out. And we can just like lightly dust the corn silks, like we've got some right here. You can just use that puffer duster and you can just dust the silks like that. Doesn't take a whole lot of dust. Uh, very effective insecticide on all kinds of insects that will be damaging your crops. And the great thing about this, it works on squash bugs. Squash bugs, very difficult to control. And with that puffer applicator, you can dust up underneath the, the leaves of, of the, the squashes as well, as use it on your corn earworms right on the silk. So, got a bunch of different options you can use to try and control corn earworms and a lot of other insects in your garden if you use them at the right time and use them according to label and directions and you'll be very effective at getting those insects under control.